my Los Angeles Clippers fans. My Los Angeles Clippers fans, man. Man, how are y'all holding up, man? I, I know, I know, this season has kind of been a, 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 a whirlwind. It's, it's, it's been a, a season full of just, you know, <laughs> Clippers fans. You know, possibly saying, "Wait till till we get Kawhi and Paul Paul George back." <laughs> you know, y'all. You know, I mean, y'all been through through a lot. You know, this 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 season. You know, as far as you know, experiencing and watching this team. Um, this team is what like twenty one and twenty one in the um, Western Conference right now. Seven, they got the seven seed. So, so if the season ends today, y'all be um, fighting for a playing spot. Um, uh, and then and now, what, what's crazy? So, so uh, if, if you a club, club, you know, Clippers fan, I'm pretty sure you, you already know uh, pretty much the whole NBA. Um, know by now that the reports came out that said that. Not only was management not, um, you know, expecting, you know, Ka- you know, Kawhi to be back, but also now is rumblings around the uh, the team that maybe Paul George is done for for the season, and and and, and for me, it, it just made me think like, what's next for for this this team, man? And, and I, I made this video because because um, I was trying to put myself in and. Um, and, and the Los Angeles Clippers shoes, you know, as a, you know, it's, you know, if if I was a fan, but I was, I was trying to put myself in their shoes, and I was, you know, I, I decided to make make a video where I'm just thinking out loud on what's, you know, possibly next for this team with that, you know, news that that literally just came out about about um, Paul George possibly, you know, miss, missing the whole season, um, and then, like, like I said, you already know that uh, that, that Kawhi is, you know, possibly don't go miss the season, so. So far, I get it to it, man. If you were a Clippers fan, if if, um, if you if you just love the NBA in general, man, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button, man, and uh, hit the like button button too, man. Uh, and, and then too, put put in the comments, like I said, if you're a Clippers fan, like like you know, uh, where's your man at with this team, or you know, what's what's your thoughts on this team, you know, going, you know, um, forward. So uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get into it. So. So like I said, um, the um, so it's weird. Like it's weird because the Clippers are like like in a weird like spot for me. So so the Clippers are focused on remaining like you know highly you know co- you know competitive with Paul George and Kawhi. Uh, you know once once they return healthy. Um, and, and like I said, like some of the organization believe it's unlikely Kawhi or Paul George will return this season. Um, and so, 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 with that thought in mind, I was thinking like, okay, so come trade deadline, maybe you know, by, by that time we'll have more of a clear estimation on if Kawhi and, 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 and PG could c- come back or if, if they can't. But I was thinking more like if, if they can't, then like maybe at the trade deadline, if you on the Clippers, maybe you look to possibly move on from you know some of your veterans, like you know. Like, like, like I was thinking, like, like a couple um, of names. Um, I heard that teams have, have called on a, a, a Serge Ibaka, uh, who's on an expiring 9.7 million deal, and um, Justice Winslow, who signed through next next season when he's old, uh, for uh, 4.1 million. million. And, and like I said, man, I, the Clippers are in a weird spot. The, the roster is expensive, but they've been playing like a 500 team. Um, you know, and, and and it's weird because because maybe they don't want 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 you know want to tank, but in reality, you, it's like you really because you can't because you don't have um, your, your pick because you know that uh, that pick goes to to Oklahoma City. Um, I, I don't know, man. I, I was just you know just like I said, this is a video of me just think thinking out loud, like you know what, what's some what's, what's the next step for this team, like because like. You know, it's just it's weird because it's like you because and, and too I, I know they um the um the um, the club Clippers so they have a whole bunch 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 of money but for a team who is looking like this season is kind of a, a washed uh, you know it's kind of a wash in a way you you have a whole lot of money on your books and like and with a team that's fighter for a plan like that's I, I, I just kind of weird to have an expensive roster where the team is just 
you know, mediocre right uh, right now because obviously you are um, missing key, you know, parts of, of your team. Um, so, and, and I was thinking like, 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 could, like, does it make sense to be proactive and take somewhat of a step back to build towards next season while saving money? And like I said, Winslow and Ibaka are players that, that could be moved. Uh, the Clippers currently have a 93 million tax pay, pay, payment and the 262 million, you know, um, roster all, all, all together, which is, that's, that's just a lot of damn money for a, a, a mediocre team. Um, I don't know, but I was thinking like um, getting off Winslow, you know, could save you 22 million. Getting off Ibaka would save them close to 41 million. And getting all both would uh, save close to 80 million. And, and hell, maybe you get lucky and, you know, possibly you can like get off, you know, Eric Bledsoe uh, in, in, in a deal with Oklahoma. Uh, but, but, but but getting all, all three of those things to work out is, is kind of like, like unrealistic. But, but I don't know. Uh, you know, that, that's just kind of my man. I was, I was putting myself in like a... And, and you know, in, in the in the clip, you know, in, in the clipper shoes, and I was thinking like, about a trade deadline. If it's looking more and more likely that Kawhi and PG possibly is not gonna be able to come back, I don't know, man. Like, I maybe it's best to kind of just move on from those pieces to you know, to save you some money, money, and like build towards next you know season. But but of course, if 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 it's, it's looking like that that PG and Kawhi can come back. Then, then of course you kind of you know keep keep those pieces intact, and you know you, you get your you know your, your you know your two um, best 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 players back, and that's that, that's that's just a whole different you know different conversation. But but like I said, is they like around the team is is they they they, they, they talking like huh, I don't know maybe we're not gonna get PPG and Kawhi back, you know. And if that's the case, like I said, maybe after the dead uh, deadline is you know it's time to move all off of, um, all that money money that they they have on the book so, so i don't know so you know if, if you're a club clippers fan or you know just, just an nba fan in general general leave in the comments on what, what you think the clippers should you know possibly do you know you know once it come to trade that uh deadline or or, or 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 what's possibly best for on um, this team going forward in, in the uh, future you know you know next next year when, when you have a healthy client pg so i don't know leave that in the comments and like i said in the beginning um like on, on the video, uh, if, you know, if you're an NBA fan and, uh, you know, Clippers fan, I don't want you to miss, miss it on, you know, content, I got a whole bunch of content, so, so leave a like on the video and, um, and, and subscribe, uh, and man, it's, man, that's it, if, if, if for me, yeah.